hot topic on, on Monday was uh, Manhattan Drive. And more so, uh, sorry, not, not so much for the development for, for this conversation, but for where it is, which is right next to the old Tolco plant. And we, everybody knows that that will at some point be developed. Um, where does that sit right now? And what would you like to see there? Uh, so are we talking Tolco in, Tolco. in, in yeah. particular? Yeah. Uh, well, I think the, as excited as a lot of people are about you know, what the Tolco lands may mean to the future of our city, um, I think it's a bit premature um, for me to say what I would like to see. I mean, um, you know, certainly a lot of planning work will need to go into it, but obviously some of the things that are going to be first and foremost are protection of the waterfront and public access and parks. Uh, and, and how we, you know, utilize that, that area, um, making sure that uh, there's room for pedestrians, cyclists, uh, runners, all sorts of things. But um, making sure that that's protected and utilized for public um, is probably first and foremost. Uh, and then really the sky's the limit. Um, there could be some really great things happen there. Um, but for me to speculate at this point what those may be, I mean, I, I think it's... Um, pretty easy to say that it's going to be some combination of commercial space and residential space and uh, it really is going to be uh, a great addition to our downtown. Um, but it, too early to say, I can say though that uh, the City of Kelowna staff have been engaged with Tolco staff uh, in terms of what a long-term um, future plan would look like not only for Tolco but also for the North End um, because the whole thing needs to be planned comprehensively um, and not just look at it specifically from a Tolco perspective. Well what we saw on Monday uh, with Manhattan and we've also seen with the uh, BC Tree Fruits property that's uh, for sale in that general area it seems that people are starting to look at that area and uh, you know set up dominoes as to you know what we want here etc and so it's not just the, the Tolco property, but it's also the peripheral uh, yep. property. And that's why city staff and council believe that it's really important that we have a comprehensive plan for the North End uh, to uh, look at the areas that are you know, uh, currently built out. Uh, and you can see why people would want to be in that neighborhood uh, with all the really cool things happening in the brewery district, the wineries there, um, you know, the uh, locate or proximity to Knox Mountain Park, uh, the beaches. So you can see why it's going to be a popular area, uh, not only now, but in the future. And so it just means we need to have uh, a good plan in place. And I'm confident that we'll, uh, working with Tolco, uh, you know, implement something really fantastic there. But uh, I would say that um, aside from maybe approving the planning work uh, to go ahead, this council will likely not make any decisions in terms of any development applications on Tolco, um, because that's a ways away yet.